Hello, welcome to the Rob Jesse Show. I'm Rob Jesse, and on this show we talk about real estate, our local heroes, and of course, the Roanoke Valley. And every Thursday, I'll be bringing you a special buyer series that'll talk about the things that uh, that you should be doing as a buyer, or your agent should be doing as a buyer, whether you're using us or somebody else. And today, we're going to jump right, a, right on in, and we're going to be talking about the five negotiating tactics that could kill your deal. And that's not good if, you're look, if you love that house. Uh, negotiating in real estate is a delicate art. Uh, however, skilled negotiators, or, or as realtors, it's our job to find common ground between the two parties. And sometimes, uh, whether it be the buyers, sellers, or even us as agents, we use uh, some of the negotiating tactic tactics that could kill your deal. So these are thing, uh, five things to look out for as uh, you're negotiating your contract. Uh, number one, and I see this a lot, lowball offers. Uh, making an offer way below the, the market value of the house uh, can damage your credibility and can also be insulting to the seller. Uh, you have to remember that the seller loves their house most of the time and sometimes if you make it lowball it seems like it's uh, not good enough uh, so the seller also they have a price point that they know they're not going to go below and so if you come in way below that or if you're not even approaching the low end of, of what they want out of a house uh, most time they won't even consider it and actually sometimes I've, I've watched a, a seller not even consider future offers uh, and so definitely want to stay away from that uh, number two incremental negotiations don't continue to return to the seller with tiny increases in your offer a thousand dollars or less uh, the constant back and forth can grow tedious and, and lead the seller to looking for alternative opportunities or or just saying forget about it uh, I've even watched sellers take their house off the market because they're tired of the nickel and diming uh, so you know definitely stay away uh, number three take it or leave it uh, the strive not to draw a line and you know you want to strive not to draw a line in the sand uh, with your initial offer uh, the seller can sometimes get defensive especially if you're on the lower side of their offer or or even you know lowballed it uh, so you definitely don't want to do that. Uh, it can also get that seller uh, to be defensive uh, about their house and, and things like that. Um, so even though you know most buyers are, are willing to negotiate price, you don't want to make a show of, hey, I'm not going any, any higher than this, uh, even if that's as high as you're really going to go. Uh, number four, and, and I see this a lot, um, our team, we, we try to steer away from it, uh, but ultimately we work for the buyer. And when, when we're showing buyers houses and making offers for buyers. But uh, the nitpicking after the inspection, clearly if the inspection uh, reveals significant problems with the house, uh, it ought to be factored into the final price or, or sale of the house. But however, demanding lower price on the house or, or demanding a bunch of minor things to be fixed, uh, could stall the negotiations. Uh, so definitely you want to take the advice of your of your agent and try not to nitpick everything that comes back on that inspection because you could have five inspections and all five of them are going to come back with something different. Uh, so you really want to look towards uh, those, those major items that are wrong with the house. Uh, and number five, uh, and I, I've noticed this a lot lately, and uh, some of my sellers can, can attest to it, is uh, requesting more, more, more. Uh, some buyers can request sellers to throw in furnishings. Uh, like, I like that sofa, so I want the sofa with the house. Uh, appliances that are not listed in the listing agreement or listed in the, the listing itself. Uh, of, you know, brand new washer dryer, I've watched, you know, buyers uh, try to get somebody's brand new washer dryer. They had no intentions of ever leaving their uh, beds, uh, just all sorts of things. So definitely um, you don't want to try to get the people's stuff. Uh, you're, you're looking to buy a house. Uh, when you ask for people's stuff, sometimes it can cause hostility uh, and sometimes 
the seller can assume that you're being greedy, uh, that you want everything, even even their furniture. Uh, so definitely stay away from that. Hey, every Thursday we're going to be uh, returning with some some special buyer tips, and uh, hopefully this was here, you know, was was help to you. And you know, if you have any questions, drop a comment below. Uh, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel so that uh, you can be getting these tips. Um, as always, questions, reach out to me uh, and, and we'll get those answered for you. Have a super great Thursday and we'll see you soon.